Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just Die. I'm playing Octopath Traveler. Last episode we finished off um, Hanuj Chapter 3. And today we're going to go and begin um, Cyrus's Chapter 3. I wanted to travel over to this place to get ready. And then the game was like, hey, you have business over here. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I already have the people in my party to get the first uh, two bits of travel banter, so... The story is so far. In Quarry Crest, Cyrus used his powers of deduction to get to the bottom of a series of kidnappings perpetrated by the depraved scholar Gideon, who was harvesting the village's blood for his dark research. It was in Gideon's sickening lab uh, laboratory that Cyrus discovered it. A translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Though the history of the dark arts intrigued him, he could not sit idly by while his peers used knowledge for evil. And so Cyrus came to Stoneguard, where the tome was bound. Would he find answers here, or only more dreadful questions? Mm -hmm. Stoneguard at last! A sprawling city of Ivor saw one. Talk about searching for a needle in a haystack. First, I should review where we stand. Like as not, the translated copy of, uh, of From the Far Reaches of Hell was produced by a bookmaker in this town. Mm. But where to begin my search? Locally speaking, it would make the most sense to begin at the source. Mm. Which means head straight for... The bindery, of course. Where else? Let the investigation begin. Travel banter. Take care. Take care, scholar. You know, I feel it now too. The unmistakable sense of being watched. For my part, the, f uh, the feeling was faint at first. It uh, and came and went, but it grows stronger with every step we take. I am gonna burp. <gasps> that was a hiccup. Um, and also a burp at the same time. Undoubtedly, your instincts are sharper than mine. How did you acquire them, I wonder? I cannot say. It is something I learned on the battlefield. By what means, I do not rightly know. Oh, I was hoping there was some easy trick to it. It is easy enough if you are willing to fight as many battles as I have. I think, I think easy here means something different to you and me. Fair enough. Even a scholar such as yourself cannot know everything there is to know of this world. Okay, now who's next? <laughs> Let's see, after um, Sy I'm sorry, after Alberic, it's Therion. Let's, let me go and get Therion. Uh, In the party. Hello. Therion. Uh... There we go. My god. <laughs> Into the boundary we go. Hello, my good man. Scrutinize. I sold a book of my making to Dominic, a translator. His home lies on the east side of town. Most intriguing. Mm -hmm. Well, now, it would seem I owe this Dominic fellow a visit. I should be able to find him in the workshop just east of here. Let me go and take a look at something for a moment. I also suddenly get pains. Oh, the pain! Um, okay. Alright, I see. Alright, okay! Let's go. Excuse me. Beg pardon, is this the residence of. My apologies. I do not know who you are, but I'm not in the mood for company. A moment. If you no could just time. spare a moment, uh, a spare moment, kind sir. There's something I'd like to ask you. Be gone with you. I said I wish to see no one. Leave me at once. Hmm. He seems like a stubborn one. I'll have to find another way. Pray forgive the intrusion. A good day to you, sir. 
It might behoove me to find out more about our friend Dominic. All right, travel banter. I see. He refuses to talk into thee. Quite. I need a different approach. You're looking most solemn. Is anything troubling you? I was thinking. Wherefore would someone so mighty turn, turn his back on others? The suffering in his voice was that of a man who had been made to forsake everything. You are suggesting there is a reason for his behavior. Perhaps. I know not. But when I think about the life that he had, he had led, led. Yes, quite. Something tragic may have befallen him. I need to find out more. Perhaps I can even find a way to help him. A good plan. Let us act in upon it. Well. So you were refused. Indeed, it would appear we have no one to rely upon but ourselves. This Dominic fellow. Stubborn coot, wouldn't you say? A type regrettably common in the world of philosophy and science. So you're going to find out more about him. Uh, certainly, if I can do that, I might find a means by which to make him listen to me. I shall start by talking to his colleagues and other associates. Good luck, those bookish types are badder than the carrion caves. Myself included. <laughs> oh, the silence after it, that was amazing. Okay, now, who's next? After Sterion and Hunnet. We then have Tressa and... Um, Let's see. We then have Tressa and Alfin and Imprimer, so I can get Tressa and Primer, isn't it? Let's go. Hello. Tressa. Um and Primrose. <laughs> I love saying it like that. Because I'm weird. Deal with it. <laughs> That's let us begin with scrutinization. That Dominic went and shut himself off from the world after only his daughter, after his only daughter, succumbed to sickness 15 years ago. <laughs> Dominic had a translation commissioned uh, he thought would earn him a fortune. Still, rues the days he said yes to it. Poor lad. Hmm. Hello. Sold some medicine to Dominic about 15 years ago, I think. Was in, a, was in the spot of bother, as I recall, financially speaking, so I gave him a discount. Very well. And that should do it. I dare say Dominic will be more talkative this time. Excuse me. Beg pardon, Master Dominic. I'm Cyrus, the scholar who called upon you earlier. Oh. You again, I already told you I did not want to see you. Fifteen years ago, who did Dominic lose to sickness? His daughter. What task did Dominic Um, Translating a book. But of course! Yes, if my reasoning is correct, this is undoubtedly why Dominic has cut off all contact with the outside world. I do not mean to open up old wounds, friend. But I've heard that you lost your dear daughter to illness some 15 years ago. Thusly. Since then, you have secluded yourself and cut off all contact with the outside world. In order to procure the elixirs that might save your daughter, you needed coin, quickly, and a large quantities. And so, you accepted an unusual task. Yes. To wit producing a translation from the far reaches of hell. <sighs> Who told you this? Now then. The book that you translated is now in my position. Clearly you are a scholar of great knowledge and wisdom. You took care to omit the most horrific passages, doubtless because you organized the dangers they posed. Or, I'm not sure if I read that correctly, it doesn't matter. As an academic, I will not stand idly by as knowledge is used for the purpose of evil. And so I ask you, who commissioned this translation from you? Come and 
outside. Many thanks. Thank you, French. Listen. Ah, oh, but where should I even begin? In truth. Fifteen years ago, a man came here. Uh, came here to me with a request. He said was of dire import. Strangely, I cannot recall his name. He was a scholar, and from his words, one could tell his mind was as sharp as a blade. But what I remember more than anything were his eyes, which burned blood with a zeal for knowledge that bordered on obsession. What in the red eyes? Could it be? No. Perish the thought. After that, they say in recent years he accepted a, pre a pres prestigious position at the Royal Academy in Adelism. It could Good be. Good God. At Master Yvonne. Yes. Ah, yes, ah, it's yes. all coming back to me now. Yvonne was his name. In truth. He came to me, a mighty and venerable tome in hand. That tome was from the far reaches of hell. I did not have to think twice. Is that so? Knowing full well the danger posed by the forbidden knowledge within. Yes. Yes, I was not blind to the risk. And yet, what choice did I have? The medicines my daughter require, uh, required cost a veritable fortune, and I am but a humble scholar. So you followed Yvonne's instruction to the letter? Yes. Yes, I translated that dreadful tome. All the while fearing for my life, what horrors might come to pass if the knowledge fell into the wrong hands. In the end, even the rarest of elixirs could not save my poor girl. Looking back, I believe this was divine punishment for my sins. Headmaster Yvonne, whatever was that man thinking? You say the book is in your possession. I beg of you, promise me. Leave it to me. I will see that it is never used, uh, never again used to bring pain and suffering. Have my word. The pain and guilt you bear is surely beyond my understanding, but I hope this will bring you even a small measure of solace. Rest your heart easy, friend, as best you can. You have my thanks. Cyrus, was it? You have my thanks. Come now. Well, are you going to keep hiding in the shadows, or shall we end the charade? Ah. So you were wise to my presence? Just so. I knew I was being followed, yes. Fancy meeting you outside the academy. You are the headmaster's assistant, Miss. Call me Lucia. Greetings. A pleasure. And why have you followed me here, Miss Lucia? Or Lucia? Whatever. I apologize. Forgive me, Professor Albright. I meant no offense. I have heard that you were investigating the whereabouts of a certain tome. A tome by the name of From the Far Reaches of Hell. Is this correct? And what if it is? In truth. What I'm about to say, I ask that you keep in the utmost confidence, or confident, yeah sure. I have reason to believe Headmaster Yvonne is pulling something unsavory involving the self same term. Why? So the thief who stole the book from the archives was Yes. The headmaster himself. Of this I am all but certain. The headmaster's assistant I may be, but first and foremost I'm a scholar in my own right. I will not stand to see my professor, uh, profession's good name sullied by one who would use knowledge in the name of evil. This is why. Indeed. You came here seeking my aid. Correct. Yes, my intuition as an uh, academic tells me you are a man to be trusted. <laughs> no man can be trusted. Where's the door, guys? Ha! Ah, poison! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was... Mm. <laughs> As you may be aware, Headmaster Yvonne hails from Stoneguard himself. Yes. Yes, I was planning to, uh, to investigate that very matter after I was done here. Mm. The house in which he was born still stands. Yet there are ominous rumors about the place. I have ascertained its location, but I am hesitant to investigate further on my own. 
And, I, and so I ask, Professor Albright, pray lend me your aid. I see. I see. Before I promise anything, I would see the house with my own eyes. Correct. I understand completely. You will find it on the north side of town. Shall we begin? Very well. Let us pay it a visit straight away. As for whether or not I can cooperate, I will give you my answer there. Is this acceptable? Thank you. But of course. Thank you, Professor. I will go on ahead and meet you there. Alright. Travel banter. Pardon me. Can I ask you a question, Professor? By all means. What kind of things did you teach back at the palace? Interested in a spot of learning, are we? Then pull up, your, pull up a log and I'll give you a lesson. Huh? History, let's begin there. Specifically with the founding of the mighty kingdom of Hornburg. Oh, wait, I never said... And there, followed, and also, in short... He's been talking for an hour now. I'm not sure whether to be annoyed or impressed. But the King Edward, if you recall, had his own worries. You see... Professor, can I say something? What is it, Tressa? We really need to get back on the road. <laughs> Okay, now, it was Primrose, and then it was Ophelia, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah! <laughs> right, let's go and get Ophelia in the party. Ophelia! Right. Um, so instead of Primrose, it's gonna be Ophelia. I'm gonna run around, to, run around to this party for a little bit. And we'll see what happens. If I get another travel banter before we enter the dungeon, I'll go and get um, Therion, of course. I just don't know which cutscenes are which, so. Uh, let me go and save my game, just in case. Even though it's not a disaster, I can always, like, go back into the dungeon and grab the loot later. It's just a little bit annoying. This is where Headmaster Yvonne was born and raised. According to the neighbors, it has lain abandoned for some 20 years now. Is that so? Ominous indeed. Well, should we let ourselves in? What the? Well, what is this place? Ah, Professor Albright. I apologize for this little ruse. I'd recognize that voice anywhere. So, we meet again, Headmaster Yvonne. When I heard you were looking into from the far reaches of hell, I knew your search would lead you here. And sure enough, you didn't disappoint me. Your mind is every bit as sharp as I thought it was. You sent Lucia to keep an eye on me. What a shame, my dear boy. A thirst for knowledge like yours would be such a terrible thing to waste. So, what do you say? Apprentice yourself to me, and I will overlook your little trespasses. How kind of you. I refuse. I am, shall we say, philosophically opposed to your stance on knowledge. I believe that knowledge should be shared, not hoarded for one's personal gain. I thought you'd say as much. Most unfortunate, Cyrus. Most unfortunate. As you know, this is my house, and I don't get many callers these days. A smart man like you knows what this means, yes? When you starve to death here, no one will be the wiser. <laughs> I 
If you think I'll give up without a fight, you don't know me nearly well enough. Calling my way out doesn't seem to be an option. Now, then. now, how to get myself out of this predicament? Let me go and just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I was filling in my glass. Alright, dungeon time, baby. <laughs> A bone. Why would you look at that? Wait and see. Professor? Professor Albright. That voice, could it be? Are you okay? Hold on, Professor, I'll, ro I'll lower the rope. There you go, climb on up. <laughs> oh, Professor, I'm so <laughs> glad you're safe. <laughs> Therese. Did you come all the way from Atlas then? But, but why? Actually, I knew you were in danger, and so I came to warn you. Hmm? That's quite enough, young lady. <gasps> Therese. I knew Cyrus would come, but you, you have pluck for a girl your age. You think you can get away with this? Ivan, let her go at once. It is clear a hostage, a hostage negotiation never factor into your scholarly pursuits. Mark my words, Cyrus. Stop meddling in my research or the girl's life is forfeit. Oh. Wait! Alright, travel banter. Son of a... <sighs> I won't let him get away with this. I don't care who you are. Kidnapping and holding someone hostage ain't right. Hostage ain't right. Alvin, my dear, uh, my friend, I have to find you overly hot-headed and temperamental. Temperamental, but on this issue, I stand in complete agreement. Why, no man who pretends to uh, to to integrity and virtuousness can let such wrongdoings go unpunished. Shucks, Professor, never seen you get so hot under the collar before. Are you sure I'm quite calm and my sub-collar temperature remains tepid? All right, if you say so. By the way, let's get going. Indeed, Alvin, we must make haste. Okay. Let me go and leave for a moment. <laughs> you know, to break the tension. Um, so, okay. Ophelia's, I just noticed. I can actually watch Ophelia's thing uh, at the end of this um, of this chapter. So, I'm going to go and switch into Therion. Because it's OP and... Um, <laughs> well, it's not OP. He's strong. But um, I also need him for chests. So. Hello! There you go, my good boy. Uh, let's go and get Ophelia out of here. Also Cyrus, level 37. Nice. Well, it's not too different from some other people in the party, so... At some point, I should probably, you know, fix this. Carnage Blade, this thing, Sapphire Rod. Elemental stuff, so we still do elemental damage. I'm gonna take a look at their skills, actually, for a moment. So Primrose is not too far away from finishing Cleric. And Cyrus also needs to be... Okay, that's fine. Alright, here we go. Yvonne's birthplace. Yvonne's girth place. Um, hmm... I don't know where I'm gonna go. I guess I'll just begin over here and see if this will lead me to the way forward or if it's going to... Okay, no, nice. Want to tangle, huh? Hello. Arrows and spears. Out of my way. Mayhaps also daggers? I appreciate it. Really? Yeah. Pull out the remnants. Ow. Oh, let's go and try Luminescence. Works on that guy. Um, Cyrus, analyze. 
Axe, okay. Okay, it's fine. That's not so fine. Last stance, so they're both weak to axes. Okay. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Let me go and try some dark damage. Bring your or night out, whatever. <laughs> dark damage, basically. This guy might be weak to source. Okay, nice. A second serving, of course. Firestorm! Let's see. Also swords. Okay. Alright, I think it's time to go and, you know, <laughs> administer some first aid. There we go. Alright. Patience, which gives me a chance to do something like this. Alright. Alright. Let's get down to work. Not Toyota's chair tape. <laughs> Last time. There we go. Okay. I am ready. Wait me a staggers. Hmm. Well, I think I'll just go and do this I appreciate it, really. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Also weak against ice because it's a flame did. Not weak against spears. I am ready. Also not a weak against games, which makes a hell of a lot of sense. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, let's go and break him and kill him. Ha, try again. Bam, ba, 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 bam. Alpha levels up. Right. Hey, just inspiring plum, and nobody needs to get healed, so. This is <laughs> your end. Hello, random scholars. I am ready. Just some researchers? Okay. <laughs> sure. Let's hope that light works on the guys in the back. Nope. Then it might actually be lightning then. Freaking soul stones. Ugh. Let's, uh, let's go and do some lightning. Not waking us lightning. Cool. Um, tigers? Yes. Miss. Here we go. This calls for surgery. Not weak against axes. Um, patience. I am ready. Let's try neither. Bring your shade. Nope. Normal attacks. Um, I guess I can try ter trade tempest. Yep. Okay. Bring it. This calls for surgery. Let me go and analyze you, so I have all of your weaknesses. Okay. <laughs> Thirty-eight HP. I am ready. Wow. Goodbye. Even Cyrus can kill you now. With a physical attack, of course. Because his magic still does a sizable amount of damage. Alright. Time to heal. <laughs> um, I guess you can do this. Alright. To the left we go. Into the cellar. Oh boy. I was wondering why this music was playing actually, because this is like the the sewer music. <laughs> or ruin music, so something like that. I was a little bit surprised. But now it makes sense. <laughs> Wanna tangle, huh? Alright. More constructs. I am ready. Or what are they called again? Guardians. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Uh, so you're a Thunder Guardian, which means you're probably going to be weak against Winds. Dark Soulstone, oh boy. 
Here we go. I should have used Iron Storm. No. Oh, well. Too late now. The winds of fortune howl. Wow. <laughs> On the one enemy that he needed to hit. He missed both of them. Nice. Over here. I am ready. Thunderstorm. Um Well I guess you're weak against swords, so. Might as well do this. Then I can do a lightning blast. Right, let's go for an airstorm. There we go. I am ready. Also weak to daggers. There we go. I got all of the weaknesses. Try again. That's pretty much that's up. I got a posy berry. Let's just go and heal up. And venture four. That freaking I love this music so much. The violin in the song is really good. Oh, that's the chest, so I need to go that way first. May I have this dance? But first, more researchers! I am ready. Um, let me go and break one of these guys. That's so annoying. The fact that they just instantly use a soul stone the first turn is really annoying. Alright, All right, air storm. <laughs> Missed once. That's where we have... Lightning for it. Bring it on. This calls for surgery. I'm no, let me go and do it here once. There we go. What is Stay on going Super Saiyan. Goodbye. Try again. Golden chest with a bright stone, which makes you immune to blindness, I'm pretty sure. All right, so ice, I'm axes, ready. swords, um, spears. I guess you can go and attack this one guy. <laughs> Firestorm. My turn. Uh, what would be better right now? I guess just. I appreciate it, really. Whatever. <laughs> Offensive augmentation. Okay. Let's go for a blizzard. Here goes nothing. And last time. Let's see. Okay. I want to do a little bit more damage before I start stealing. <laughs> and he dies. Cool. Out of my way. Let's see. Sixty percent chance. Ninety percent chance. Energizing pomegranate M. Not bad. Come 
Goodbye. Thus ends your lesson. Ah, this way. <laughs> Another energizing pomegranate. Let's see what you got. Ooh, new mage. Um, or researcher. It's just a level one researcher. <laughs> Pathetic. Right, let's hit a bit of lightning blast. And they're gonna spam soul stones on me. Mayhaps. Oh, I am ready. Um, I guess I'll go and just dagger you. I appreciate it. I attacked the wrong enemy, but whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna do air storm go. anyway. Drowning arrows. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The winds of fortune have. I am let yourself be healed. My. The winds of fortune have. This calls for surgery. This guy in the front is quite a lot more beefy. Well. He is a level 3 researcher. And he also survived my stuff. But his debuffs failed. <laughs> nice. Ah, uh, whatever, man. There we go. You should have studied harder. Okay, Cyrus is almost done with being a warrior. Nothing, really. <laughs> a whole bunch of nothing. And also fire a medium fire soulstone. Uh, no, the way forward is upwards, so. A sturdy quartz rod. Huh. More evasion and less elemental attack as this thing, so. Not that amazing. <laughs> this is the beginning of your end. I am ready. Um. Well, it doesn't really matter much what I do. Oh. I won't be able to break. Out of my way. Well, I'll be able to break one enemy. And that's it. Because Alfin is slow AF. I still think that Theron is the best way to. With the hunter class. I can still switch around though. Now that I'm thinking about it. I can make Alphan a merchant and Stereon a. Uh... You know what? Sure. I think I'm gonna do that. Here goes But we'll have to see what I can do with uh, Cyrus. Um, Primrose is also... You know, let's go and wait for one more battle and then I'll do some switching around. Because Primrose is also... Really close to getting all of the Japanese points that she needs. Um, there's a little bit of an issue. <laughs> There's a chest that I'm un unable to get right now. <laughs> you won't feel a thing. Um, so I think I missed something. Now, what next? Nothing. Level slash. Level slash. And you missed all of them. Nice. Oh, Cyrus. I am ready. You are the best, but at the same time, you're also the worst. Out of my way. I appreciate it. Really. Uh -huh. 
Here we go. Drown in arrows. Oh wow, <laughs> I only just noticed that Cyrus has no attack. Well, not that much. And there we go. Okay. Let's see. Learn skills. You can get your reflective veil, which gives you saving grace. And then you can go and get insights, which gives you surpassing power, which is the only reason why you're a warrior. <laughs> Even though you kind of can't use it right now, so... Let's see. So, Primrose, you were already a scholar, you have not been a merchant quite yet, or a warrior. Or an apothecary, or a thief. Okay. I guess I'll turn you into a merchant. Yes. Which looks amazing. She looks so good in so many outfits. Um, Cyrus, you also have not been a merchant quite yet. You haven't been a dancer, an apothecary, thief, or a hunter. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, that's with Tressa. For the moment. Um, I am not gonna give you hunter. <laughs> hmm. You know what, sure, that way we have... Well, actually, I have Primrose, so... No, whatever. I've already... It's already happened. <laughs> okay, you can be a hunter. And then I'll be... <laughs> a cleric. Sure. I can deal with that. Right. Just going into the Sapphire Rod. Uh, let's go and give you the Shadow Bow. And let's give you the Transcendent Bow of something something. Graviton Axe. You can have a soul knife. All right, and let's start learning some skills. Trade tempests and um, uh, physical defense. And uh, no, no, I don't. Okay, and then I think also physical defense. Okay, <laughs> let's go and do ourselves a heal more. And let's go and look for a way to get that freaking chest. As I... Don't really know how. So there's a pathway to the left over there. Which means... I must have missed something earlier in this place. I'll make this quick. My god. <laughs> Bring it on! Okay. Um... And now you're first, I hate you. <laughs> I really do hate you sometimes. Let's go and just make some of this stuff. How do you like this? And do something. I am ready. I sure as hell love attacking her. The winds of fortune will rage. My turn. Drop. Uh, are you kidding me? I'll just go and attack normally, I suppose. Here goes nothing. Here goes. This calls for surgery. I think I might be able to steal something from this guy. A poison berry. Okay, so these are the guys that drop that. Um. Is there a reason why you're doing no damage? Um. All right. Get out of here. Well, I would say that, but you still live. How? I'm gonna use the bloodstone, asshole. Okay. 
Here we go. I am ready. <laughs> Are you kidding me, game? Uh. Wow. Don't start things you can't finish. What an absolutely amazing battle that was. Time for healing. There we go. Gotta get myself that treasure. First need to figure out how to freaking get it. I've done my research on you. Out of my way. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -ba. I am ready. <sighs> yeah, she doesn't have the skill quite yet either. Okay then. Um I still stand. You like that? Bring it on. Nothing will quiet the storm. Oh, this calls for surgery. I'm. Yeah, just use magic. <laughs> why are you? <laughs> why am I even using physical attacks with these people? Right. Hey, fire soul stone. Those can be quite useful, yes. Has to be over here. <laughs> God dang it. Sometimes, my friends, it really is that simple. Unfortunately enough for me, I need to run all the way around again. Alright, my friends, I think I'm gonna end up over here, and next episode I'll meet you guys back at the end of this place, basically. So I hope in just episode of this, I was playing Octopath Traveler, and next episode, well, I just said what we were gonna do, so... Goodbye.